Man, this is exciting stuff. Uh, this is video two for this channel. I am super excited about this one. This is my design journey. So I'm gonna kind of start from the beginning and go through the different sort of periods in my life that were really impactful to this sort of process. And uh, maybe you can relate to it, maybe you can't, but either way, you're learning more about me and you're understanding kind of how I uh, grew in this field and where it all started. So for me, I can tell you right now, my design sort of sense or when I realized I knew that I liked aesthetics and the way things were made was at a super young age. We're talking like four or five years old. I was literally building Legos and drawing when I had a diaper on and I I loved both of those things. I can literally look back to drawings I did as a little kid that were really geometric in nature. And I love the concept of shapes and the way that they go together. And the same with Legos, like Legos allow you to build anything, right? That's what I use as like a creative tool as even a little kid. And I can kind of look back and tell you like, this is a moment where like I discovered this, or I actually took formal art lessons for most of my life pre-college, whether it was with uh, an independent tutor or like in a class setting but I had that pretty much like my entire life by choice I loved it I wanted to do it it's just cool to see like going back to those pieces that I made for class like one of them I can literally remember right now it was a um, a collage kind of of a bunch of logos like skateboarding brands that I loved as a kid and all my friends in our class were kind of like mm, that's kind of different and my teacher thankfully like had the sense to understand like hey let this kid do it but like i loved logos i loved branding and i loved typography if you look at like anything i drew whether it was like doodles or a fully fledged art piece like a lot of my stuff had type in it or words play on words like different things like that and i can look back and tell you like that was me wanting to like design something and through drawing and it's just really cool to see like portrait drawing i was okay at but i never loved it the same way that i loved drawing like words and branding and things like that as a kid so i think that's super cool to see another important point Another important thing to point out is before college, I did take two classes that I think are really important. One is I took web design one and I took web design two. Web design one was the basics of web design like HTML, CSS, and I loved that class. Probably one of my favorite high school classes I ever took. But I jumped into web design two thinking it would be kind of more of the same. And that's when it got into like logic, JavaScript, things like that, that just really didn't appeal to me. And it's so interesting to see, like I was not a kid in high school that wanted to be like a backend developer. Like all I cared about was the front side of things and how it looked. To this day, I still use HTML and CSS and I don't really do much of the rest. Like I'll allocate that to somebody else. And that's so interesting because that's the way I've been since I was literally in high school. As far as design school, my collegiate education, I studied graphic design is my major with a photography minor. I always knew like going into design school that interactivity was a big priority for me. I really enjoyed the app development classes or the web development classes that focused on like front end design for an interactive platform or a responsive platform. Even in college, like I knew what I wanted out of the gate. Like I wanted to do design. I declared my major before I got into design school, kind of uh, a little bit of a risk there. I loved, I loved school, really enjoyed photography photography on the side as well. That is still kind of what I do today. Like I do videos for fun. It's it's really just a continued passion of mine. But college was really interesting because I learned the design fundamentals that you kind of have to either teach yourself or be taught. College is like obviously the place to do that for most people. And for me, it certainly was like learning hierarchy, contrast, type, all of those things you kind of have to learn and you have to develop an eye for it. College was the place for me to do that. I worked several jobs outside of college. Some were designed, some were not. More than just design, college taught me common basic people skills, conflict resolution, and how to manage multiple people on a team. And that's actually what I'm most thankful for college for, is like giving me opportunities to uh, learn people skills and basic social interactions. So for people that are sort of debating whether or not to go to college, if you are weighing it only on like 
the merits of what academically you will learn, that's not a fair assessment for college because it's way more than that, especially residential college. But that's a whole nother discussion. As far as college goes, like out of the gate, like I knew what I wanted to do and I really enjoyed pretty much all of design school. There were some artistic elements to it, but it was mainly like design classes, interactive classes. I graduate, I kind of sort of developed this dream to freelance out of college. It's not something that I know I can do in that moment, but it's something that I'm really passionate about. And there are several friends of mine that um, I know to this day that can tell me like, we had this conversation of like, Josiah wants to go into the freelancing in a year or two years out of college. And sure enough, that's kind of what happened. But I took a job that I interned with right out of college and I stayed there for a year and a half. And I'm so thankful for that time. It gave me the opportunity to grow in my skills, understand how to work in a team and to get the fundamentals of like the difference between school design where kind of you are the creative director and working for someone that is the creative director. And to anyone that like wants to learn that, you can't really be taught it, you just have to experience it working. You know, you the, the best teacher for that is literally working in the field. So I'm so glad I had that formative period. Again, learned more and more through that job that I was passionate about digital platforms, interactive media and responsive design. Sure enough, like that's what I'm doing now. But I, t I learned that through that job and they also enabled me to learn as I went through that position. So that's kind of, the short story of my freelance journey. I can go more into that later. I can look 10 years ago and say, yes, these are the roots to the fundamentals of what I like to do as a designer. And I think that's really cool. And if you are currently a designer, whether you're freelance or not, kind of do that exercise. Look back into even like young, like teens, preteens, and look into what you were interested in and ask yourself why. Because when I did that, like even a year ago, I was like, oh my goodness, like look at all these things that I was doing that fed into what I'm doing now. It might've even been something like a sport but just dealing with a team in a sport can kind of prepare you weirdly for the design field. Uh, I love sports, I'm super competitive, and that actually has fed into what I do day to day. So just because you think like design is at a desk and it's kind of a computer-based job, like there are way other aspects of your life that feed into your career as a whole. And that's something that is really important to me and I constantly tell people they need to look into that for themselves because they're going to explore a lot and they're also going to find out a lot about who they are. So I think that's it. Wow. This is way more professional than the first one I did. To all my millions of viewers out there, uh, and mom, hope you're watching this one. I told you to watch the first one and you still haven't. Leave a comment and let me know sort of if this was similar to your journey or if you are embarking on a design journey yourself, you're a bit younger or however old you are, let me know. I'd love to hear about it and I'll try to respond to every comment I can can respond to. Uh, you know, I'll do my best. It's, it's pretty cool to look back and I encourage everyone else to do the same thing. That's about it. What do I do with my hands, Ricky Bobby? I would love to hear you all's feedback. I'm gonna keep these coming. I think I have a few more videos in the pipeline that are related to sort of my journey through design, especially freelance. And that's gonna begin kind of the freelance tips and tricks or advice or master Yoda words of wisdom or hey, don't rip yourself off, like things like that. So I'm rambling, I'm gonna go, you know, check me out on MySpace. I'll see you next time.